Donnie Barley. My affiliation is skateboarding. I'm from New England, so skateboarding, New England, and dad, dad life. It's my affiliation. Fugazi, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was five bucks. I was psyched, and it was in Portland, Maine, and um, and yeah, Dan Jehovah was there, and this guy Jamie, and a bunch of dudes that were locals at this rat skate park up there. It was cool, and I just got kicked out of my house. And um, I had like a bunch of duffel bags and clothes and stuff in the back seat of my car. So I was actually, I wasn't, um, I think I was 16, 17. Yeah. yeah. Santa Cruz, I think. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That's tough. Yeah, I kind of gravitated towards Santa Cruz in my early days with Eric Dressen and Bod and um, uh, Tom Knox. And um, I was just into that whole deal. You know, those guys had like a little NorCal vibe going, a lot of skating pools and um, skating transition stuff and um, a lot of Sixth Street skating and just speed and their videos were so rad um, speed freaks and wheels on fire and um, but dude man I'm every company out there and every video totally blew my top off so uh, that's a hard question but I think it's Santa Cruz for sure Man, I was so close to seeing Nirvana a couple times. Um, man, I just really liked their, their stuff when it came out and um, never got to. I was close a couple times. Oh, man. Um, uh, my boy, Sam. Sloppy Sam, Juice Cover. 50 fifting around the corner with the skeleton of the ramp exposed. It's pretty darn cool. I could, gosh, that was the first one that popped into my head, so I'm gonna go with that. And I love Sam, he's my boy. I met Sam probably when I was like 15 or maybe even 14, and um, he's from Connecticut. And so I'm proud to say that's that's gonna, we'll call that number one. Bad Brains. I like the Bad Brains. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're just... Uh, I don't know. They've just been with me during certain points where, you know, things were, you know, up or down or sideways. <laughs> Favorite skater of all time, Eric Dressen. That's my boy. I guess HR. I don't know. It's a board that I always wanted that I never got. Um, and it was this a soy hammerhead. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was just, it was from Hasoy Skates. And it, um, and he was, it was just like a, a kind of a silhouette of him like cranking like a method in midair. It was pretty clean 
and just the shape was just so tasty and I just remember like standing on it in the skate shop I remember I was saving up for it but somebody bought it so I, and then you know six months later when I finally had enough money I was like already kind of graduated to a different stage or something because things were moving fast but I remember that was the one I really wanted I've seen Dinosaur Jr. a bunch, and um, I, uh, one time I saw them in, um, in Philadelphia, I think. Um, there's a couple of Dinosaur Jr. shows that I've, I've seen that were really, really, just really cool, just at the right time of my life where I'm like, you know, independent and, um, you know, kind of holding things down on my own, you know, away from, you know, out of the house, you know, no more mom and dad, you know, struggling with $2 in my pocket and like getting into the show, having a cold beer and just being like blown away, like just leaving so like floating out of the building type, you know, feeling. Yeah, I, I really like Dinosaur Jr. for some reason, just the, um, the uh man, I don't know, the music's just, just 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 there's like some some passion in there and maybe emotion and it's like maybe maybe some misery too, I don't know. But I, I just dig it. And I, I don't know, I liked it from the first time I heard it and and um yeah, a couple times I've seen them live and just you know, just hit me right and just right in the sweet spot. <laughs> Uh, stay out of trouble, um, stay one step ahead of the law, um, and, uh, watch out with the company you keep. <laughs> That's my grandmother always used to tell me. Yeah. Like, I think for me, I was like... Uh, watching out every skate video I could find um, when we were kids too like some of our friends had records and stuff and you know Dead Kennedys and Husker Du and just all this new music that I wasn't even familiar with you know we grew up in the suburbs and stuff so to see a Dead Kennedys record was like <gasps> like I could just picture like JFK dead and like I'm holding this record thinking like what if I, like my mom would would cringe if she saw that record, you know, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I got introduced through everything, punk rock and stuff from skateboarding, from skate videos, and friends.